Hello students, in this video clip, we are going to practice uh, the short-term financial uh, planning and the budgeting uh, with a very uh, like a simple and easy way. Here, the prior exercise, we uh, the practiced this short-term uh, cash planning starting from the sales schedule and purchase schedule and the wages and commission schedules because those business activities are different uh, from cash transaction, right? And then we got the cash budget, and then we created this project in the monthly financial statements. But in a simple, uh, the short-term financial planning model, uh, we started from financial statement directly, assuming that all the, uh, the credit uh, transactions are very simple. And then payment disbursement is exactly the same as income statement expenses. And then we also get the new bank loans and financing uh, from the balance between asset and total liability and equity. And then we can get this new uh, bank loan balance very simply, right? And then we create a cash flow statement once, uh, once we create the balance sheet, the monthly budget. And then we finally got the cash budget. It's totally opposite, opposite way, right? But we don't have the schedules because it's simple. For example, all sales are made on credit terms of uh, credit terms of a, a net thirty days, and then collected the following month. And then no bad debt expenses, inventory on hand represent a minimum amount per se, and then also the inventory is purchased in the month of sales and paid for in cash. That means the beginning balance and the ending balance are the same. Also, the cost of goods sold automatically becomes the purchased inventory, right? So we don't need to create the purchased uh, the schedule. We have the projected here income statement, the sales price per unit and a unit sold. In this projections, we can start from the sales forecast. Again, as long as we um, the explain how we got this uh, the forecast the project to the unit sold and then we can get the sales the the, the uh, forecast the 80 percent of sales is cost of goods sold and seven percent of sales is operating expenses i believe this business model is very simple merchandising business purchasing inventory cheaper price and then sell at a higher price that's why the, the variable cost or cost of goods sold is very high percentage of sales and operating expenses is very low. 1% of a, a, a 1% interest rate is monthly basis uh, from all borrowed debt. If the company borrowed the new bank loans and a note payable, those are all debts. Then we assume that those uh, the interest is uh, the rate on the outstanding notes payable and new loan is 12% divided by 12 uh, month. So 1% is the interest rate. And then we can calculate the interest expense. And the, the effective tax rate, we assume just simply the monthly basis tax, uh, the payment of 40% uh, from earnings before tax. Okay, let's go. The sales is 10 times 100 unit and then let's drag cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is 80 percent times sales okay this percentage is not much uh the the very uh, variable because that explains that represent the business structure business model of, of the company gross profit And then operating expense is 7% of the sales. And then depreciation, we assume just $10,000 every month. The earnings be for interest and tax is sum of the gross profit and all the expenses. The interest. Now the interest we we got here one percent, one percent minus one percent times 
and open the parenthesis uh, from the balance, existing balance. On January, there's no new bank loans, but we need to add this two up. And so that when we make a projection, when we make this projected monthly basis of the balance sheet, and then the interest expense is automatically calculated. Okay. Okay, let's track. I know there is no amount, no, 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 balance, no interest expense uh, on March, April, May yet, because we haven't created a balance sheet. So it's going to be automatically generated once we create, create this balance sheet, the projected month. I want to see before tax is now we've got this amount. Again, those income statement balance after uh, honesty for interest and tax is not the right amount yet but it has the equation right so let's calculate that's 40 percent let's drag then that income is going to retained into going to be retained into the retained earning Then let's move to the balance sheet projected. Required cash, as indicated on the description here, how much is required cash balance is 80, right? 80,000. So we put 80. This is going to be, right, the maintained every month. And then surplus cash. Let's put uh, the zero first. The surplus cash means if if without a new a bank loans, the total liability and equity is greater than total asset, then we have the surplus cash, right? But that, yeah, as you can see, that we have a very simple uh, the uh, balance model. Total asset and total liability is comprised of the cash, accounts receivable, and inventory, and the fixed asset net. This is simple. On the liability accounts payable. There's no accrued expenses. Yeah, paid just on that month. And then uh, the new bank loan and the note payable, comma, comma start and retain the earnings. Just that's it. It's very simple, right? So we'll compare which balance is bigger, the total asset or total liability and equity. If total asset is greater than total liability equity uh, uh, without this new bank loan, and then we need to add the new bank loan. That's the way we calculate the new bank loans. Okay. Accounts receivable one hundred percent the credit sales. That means this sales is just accounts receivable. Then let's just drag. The inventory is minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance maintained? Right, we still five hundred. So it's going to be 500 maintained. And then current asset balance. Current asset balance is sum of those three. So let's drag. So we have very simply uh, the current asset completed. And then fixed asset net amount. This 750 yeah, will be reduced by the depreciation so that every month is depreciated by $10,000. Then we have the total asset balance, current asset plus the fixed asset net amount. Now we have the total asset balance, total asset balance. And then accounts payable, we don't have accounts payable because the company paid when they purchased the simple model. And then let's just get the new bank loan balance the company need. But I'm going to put this equation here. The note payable, there's no change in the note payable. 
let's drag it. The common stock, there's no additional common stock issued. The same, common stock. Now, this retained earning, this retained earning should be now increased by net income of the current month, right? So the retained earning, begin retained earning plus net income or plus is the new retained earnings. There you go, right? So we have this retained earning amount and then how do we get this new bank loans? New bank loans here. As you can see, those balances, those balances. Let me just calculate here some of these three. Right? It's definitely lower than a total asset, total asset balance, right? So here, how to get this a new bank loan? Now, total asset minus not payable minus the common stock minus and retained earning right and so that we got right 250 253 then total liability and equity is should be 2320 total asset so let's just sum these three are the current liability and not payable existing and common stock and retained earning updated. So we got it. As you can see this. Is that right? And then let's just drag it to the right. We haven't balanced out yet because we haven't calculated this yet. Then, as you can see, the balance, new balance now increased or decreased. Increased and decreased. That finally we matched out the total asset and total liability and equity. This is very simple. Okay, also those net income is now automatically updated because we got the interest expense uh, from the, uh, the prior month balance of the new bank loans and the note payable. The sum of this total loan times 1%. Once we got this interest expenses and then we have the earnings before tax in the correct amount and finally net income is the same, right? It's the right amount of those a month. Then we also balanced out between total asset and total liability and equity. The main point of this part is to get this new bank loans, new bank, how much we need, how much we, we have to repay from this, uh, the changes. And then here, we can just sum, oh, or just the drag right okay let's just drag it to the right okay 720 10 oh I don't think it's this depreciation the sum should be now the sum of this right and then 4,000 and the interest is sum of this three. Then we have, then finally, we have the right number. Okay. So this is how to get the income statement budgeted and the balance sheet uh, without uh, making uh, the, the, the operating schedules. It's relatively simple. But again, the point is to get this new bank loans, how much we need in the short run, right? 253 and the next month and next month, we need a more loans, right? That new balances. And then the difference between two is 
the, how much we need more loans. Then we'll identify here on the cash flow statements and the cash budget the more specifically in terms of uh, the cash transaction. Okay, see you guys in the next video clip.